Welcome to our podcast, where we cover unique and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss Comet Leonard's close call near the Sun. Comet Leonard, the brightest comet, flew by Earth recently. Scientists obviously had their eyes and lenses at the celestial body, but many amateur astronomers point their telescopes at it as well. Those who could spot it grabbed this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity as the comet will next be seen after 35,000 years. That is, if the sun doesn't decide to gobble it up this time. Talking about the sun, the comet Leonard made a very close approach to one of our spacecrafts in the area. NASA and the European Space Agency's Solar Orbiter spacecraft, like its name suggests, orbits the sun and makes important observations about our only star. Comet Leonard passed very close to the solar orbit. Was there any damage to the orbiter? Thankfully not. Was the operation of the orbiter hampered in any way? No. Solar Orbiter Heliospheric Imager, the spacecraft captured images of the comet as it passed by. When Solo High recorded these images, the comet was approximately between the sun and the spacecraft, with its gas and dust tails pointing towards the spacecraft, as said the ESA in an official statement. The spacecraft will continue to observe the comet. After that, the comet will move out of its field of vision. It is not exactly known what will happen to the comet, as at its closest approach, it will be just 90 million miles away from the sun there is a chance that the icy comet will break up due to the heat. Otherwise, the sun's gravity may fling it in space away from itself. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.